Hey, how's it going? My name's Ryan and I'm a language teacher and a polyglot living in Sydney, Australia. So um, I speak five languages, um, English, Bislama, French, Tagalog and Spanish. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about um, uh, my story with each of those languages. Alright, so I guess I'll just kick off with my uh, first language, which is English. So, uh, there is a difference between um, that your primary language and your native language. So I would say that English is my primary language, but it's not my native. So, um, that native language is um, no, the language that you're born into. Um, so. Like, my family are Filipino, so like my native language is Tagalog. But, yeah, like these days, um, English is my primary language. So, um, that it's the language that I think in. It's the language that I use to you know, reference um, that when I translate, like, you know, the other languages that I speak or that I'm learning. And it's the language that I count in. And I guess it's also the language that I dream in most of the time. To give you a bit of a background, um, I was born in Manila in the Philippines, but when I was three years old, my family moved to Port Vila in Vanuatu. And uh, that's pretty much like where I grew up, and it's where my family still live today. Um, that, like When I was 12 years old, my family sent me here in Sydney, Australia as an international student, and it's where I've been living ever since. So it's kind of like a little story of my life. The English has turned into my primary language through like the process of immersion and also assimilation to the cultures that I grew up in, right? Yeah, so in, the, in Vanuatu, I've been primarily going to the Anglophone schools, so I did all of my studies in English, basically. And, you know, again, here in Australia, like, yeah, obviously, like, most of the studies here are done in English. Uh, accent like used to be American, so I've been told um, uh, primarily because I've learned uh, English through like watching movies and everything like that. And slowly over time, um, uh, through again like immersion and assimilation, that's just changed into more of an Australian accent. So that's basically it. And then now we have a new doctor who speaks the Bislama. Then you should ask him say, "When am I Bislama?" Then the Bislama has one long three national languages, um, but you got long Vanuatu. Then you got um, three nomo. Um, uh, time family from me, they moved back long uh, Vanuatu. Time we start small nomo. Um, to follow um, uh, mama and papa from me, to follow they start work. So. Um, uh, family blow me for like at um, house care when I can clean him house, uh, more uh, look out uh, me with him, uh, brother, more sister blow me. Uh, and yeah, now, um, the uh, Emmy is a teacher me for Bislama after Emmy, Emmy got um, uh, one boy, um, the uh, Emmy come got a boy blame me come to the house after um, the me for like to prepare with him boy blame him. Then I went to school, I went to school and I went to school with my old friend and I went to school with my old friend. Then I went to school and I got a newspaper from Vanuatu and I got an article on the news from three languages, English, Bislam and Franis. And uh, all the program on television too. Um, the, all the, um, the program on three language. No, so the English, Bislama, and Chinese, um, the, all the same. And now, yeah, the best thing in Australia, I stop talking to Bislama with them, uh, sister, blah, blah, blah. The time I go back to Vanuatu, I go look for family, blah, blah. And then I got a chance to talk to Bislama with them, all the family, all the friends, blah, blah. And uh, eh bien now. <laughs> Et maintenant, je vous raconte uh, non, mon histoire avec uh, la langue Molière, uh, la langue française. <laughs> en fait, um, uh, la raison principale que um, je voulais l'apprendre, parce que um, le français, ça fait partie de, de trois langues nationales, um, de, ce qu'on a, uh, Vanuatu. Et de, là, uh, j'aurais toujours bien aimé uh, de, de, 
pouvoir le parler, euh, de, de l'apprendre et tout ça. Mais de, euh, puisque de, je suis allé toujours de, aux écoles anglophones, de, je fais de, de, toutes mes études en, en anglais. Et, de, et puis voilà, euh, j'ai donc euh, décidé de me mettre à, à l'apprendre enfin, à, il y a six ans. Et au début, euh, c'est ce que j'ai fait, c'est de, de, de suivre une méthode euh, d'auto-apprentissage euh, qui comprend un livre euh, avec des enregistrements en MP3 et tout ça. Et puis, euh, j'ai suivi des de chaînes sur YouTube euh, de, qui nous apprend euh, de, de, le de, prendre grammaire, le vocabulaire, la base et tout ça, comment conjuguer et tout. Et puis, euh, de, euh, là, c'était vraiment euh, quand euh, je me suis inscrit euh, sur des sites euh, web euh, pour faire des langues échanges et tout, où je rencontrais euh, euh, des très très bons amis euh, francophones avec euh, euh, qui je reste en contact euh, ouais, toujours. Hein, euh, ils m'avaient euh, appris euh, le français en, en, en profondeur. Euh, euh, C'est grâce à eux que euh, je reste en contact avec euh, cette langue toujours. Euh. En fait, c'est vraiment pour ça que la langue française me tient vraiment à cœur, même à ce jour-là. C'est plutôt parce que, pour me sentir plus proche de ma culture en tant que Vamaté, et aussi pour garder le bon contact que j'ai faisais avec mes amis francophones, qui sont de la Belgique d'ailleurs. <rire> oui, voilà. Et là, euh, je voudrais vraiment que euh, je suis vraiment à l'aise quand je parle français, euh, de me sentir euh, dans un vrai francophone, quoi. <rire> oui, voilà. Kakao Sapin Kulum Nakayoko Sat Tagalog. C'est un native language, mais Hindi est un primary language, quoi, parce que. Tant que tu as un nom de famille, 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 tu Um, now, um, um, uh, no, I um, uh, no, um, uh, 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 No, 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 ya como podéis ver es um, evidente que estoy aprendiendo um, el castellano del de, de europeo um, de, pues, ya hace solamente un año y medio que estoy aprendiendo español entonces uh, estoy todavía nuevo a este idioma y um, de hecho uh, empecé a aprenderlo seriamente un por que um, fue gracias a mi tío. ¿eh? Um, ya uh, tuve un tío que, de, vivía en, uh, que vivió en Madrid uh, antes de su muerto um, hace no, un año y medio también. Entonces ya um, empecé a aprenderlo. Um, sí, un poquito antes de, de su muerto. Y, Lamentablemente ya uh, hubiera gustado poder hablar con él um, cuando estaba vivo y ya yeah, uh, es por eso um, principalmente, pero ya yeah, uh, todavía tengo intención a uh, volver uh, a Madrid y visitarlo en su cementerio y uh, 
también de, estoy aprendiendo um, o, otros um, uh, dialectos o otras maneras de hablar español um, porque de, ya me gustaría también uh, ir a uh, otros lugares um, uh, hispanohablantes ¿eh? uh, y poder hablar español um, de, de, de toda manera de la gente y todo <ríe> y ya yeah. Ya eh, recuerdo que eh, recuerdo la primera vez eh, que fui a Madrid a visitar a mi tío y yo noté que casi nadie eh, hablaba de inglés y también eh, no quería ser eh, ese tipo de, de gringo turista eh, que exigen que en todo el mundo eh, hablar inglés y todo esto es mejor uh, aprender el idioma y sí ya yeah. uh, es por eso que uh, sigue aprendiendo español y yo uh, ojalá que un día pronto uh, uh, pueda viajar y visitar uh, muchos otros países hispanohablantes <laughs> y ya está So that's my story with each of the languages that I speak and um, that what my level is in each of them. Languages are a beautiful thing, right? Like, you know, it brings the world closer together and it opens up a whole lot of opportunities for you. Which is why I do what I do. So if you like what you heard in this video, um, click like and subscribe and, you know, share the video like to get the word out there. Um, I'll also be doing more videos on um, how uh, Like I learn each of the languages that I learn and like the approach that I take and also like offer any uh, tips and tricks that have really helped me. Um, I also teach English and Bislama on italki um, and the links for my teaching profile will also be in the descriptions down below so that yeah feel free to check it out and book a lesson in whatever language you want to learn. Okay, well, that, that's it for me, guys. I'm um, going take care, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.